Elon Musk has revealed his support for a border wall and claimed migrants should have evidence of their asylum claims before being admitted to the country. We actually do need a wall, and we need to require people to have some shred of evidence to claim asylum to enter, as everyone is doing that. The Tesla founder, 52, said on Wednesday, It's a hack that you can literally Google to know exactly what to say. The USA border needs to be secured. This is not a partisan issue. Even the elected Democrat Party leaders of New York are saying this is a severe crisis, Musk added. He also clarified that while most of the very long border is super inconvenient, the convenient parts of the border need walls, and that's not hard. Yeah, so here we are uh, at Eagle Pass, uh, and we're going to be uh, meeting with uh, uh, the sort of major, the major officials uh, uh, and uh, law enforcement are responsible for the water, and um, and you'll we'll hear it directly from them and see it, see exactly what's going on uh, for yourself. So, uh, with that, let's begin. Yes, I'm Tony Gonzalez. I'm the uh, local congressman here in the district. My district is 823 miles of the southern border, places like Eagle Pass, El Paso, Uvalde, Del Rio. Uh, we've been at the epicenter of this border crisis. What I'd really like to share is, is uh, a lot of my sheriffs and, uh, and local elected officials are being forgotten. Their stories aren't getting out. Uh, some stories are, but a lot of stories aren't. The first person we would, I'd like to hear from is uh, Randy Brown, who is the sheriff of Medina County. It's about an hour away from, about 100 miles away from here. And uh, Randy's behind us now. You want to come over here, Randy? And yeah. uh, just uh, the, the question I have is, is uh, what, what's happening in your county? This is 100 yeah, miles and, away. And just imagine, like, you're just, you're just talking to America here, and right. people just want to understand right. exactly what's going on, but assume that people do not know what's going on. Well, you got to go back some time, and whenever the open border policies from the White House kind of got thrown out there, we've been overrun. How so, long was that? How long ago was that? Cool. What year was that? Two years ago. Two years. Two, we're ago. on our third we've, year. We've been battling it for two years, and uh, okay. So, so, so you're saying there's an open, been an open border policy essentially since for the past few years? It was an invitation. An, inv an invitation. That's how I read it. That's okay. how it was told from the from the White House. So, okay. They don't have a clue what's going on here, I don't think, because okay. if they did, maybe they would care. Maybe they would. I don't know. How does how does the train impact you? Because the trains have been a big story lately. There's a train just over here. This is kind of where it starts, Elon. Okay. Where you see, you know, all these thousands of people on a train. This is where they're coming through, but it doesn't end here. It just starts here. Yeah. Medina County is where they're going to make it to the big cities like San Antonio. Two, two major rail lines come okay. through, through my county and, and on those the illegals ride. They actually control the trains because they know how to crank down the brake on the car so okay. when it passes a heat sensor, the conductor has to stop the train, the illegals get off, the people come to get them and all the stolen vehicles are stealing from all over the country. Nearly every one of them is in a stolen vehicle. Okay. So, so then we get involved and then they're trespassing on private property. Okay. Uh, and when you do get behind the road, they run through fences, they run over equipment. Irrigation stuff is important to the farmers. They run over their equipment, they tear it up. We tear up vehicles trying to hold the line. We're trying to hold the line 100 miles away because the line is not getting held here. Because it's not that complicated to close the border. It really is. And that's the aggravating part. I think any sheriff okay. will tell you the same thing. All right. Um, well, and just, just uh, again, just assume that the, you know, this is a, uh, it's really just for the, the general public, and so we want to just frame the situation because uh, not everyone knows like the magnitude and you know like is this uh, normal or is is it like so so just if you could just frame the situation for the general public, yeah. that would be helpful. What 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 terrifies me the most is we're seeing historic numbers, historic eleven thousand people coming over daily for the past week uh, here in Eagle Pass alone. 2,500 people, over 5,000 people in, in detention. But what worries me the most is this, in, in many cases, feels normal. The part that doesn't make it out on some of the news stuff is there is a golf course. We are literally standing in, in front of a golf course and you have people playing golf as if it is normal. To the right, you have people that are coming over illegally. I mean, it is it is upside down. And, and like Elon said earlier, I, mean, I believe in, in legal immigration. I think uh, legal immigration is important. And what happens is when you grant people that have come over illegally these different opportunities, you completely undermine okay, the legal but, but system. I, I think, you know, like the stuff we were talking about in the car, the yeah. magnitude of the situation. The magnitude of it, yeah. So it's like, like um, 
the, the fact that we are seeing all-time highs in yes. illegal processing, it, 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 that, and, and that, that that ramp is increasing. Yes. So th th these are really important points because the public isn't isn't. I think it's not, it's not necessarily clear to the public. Uh, is this is this normal, or or, or or are we you know are we seeing an accelerating crisis? It's not getting yeah. better. It's getting worse. Last We're, Friday was the was last Friday a week ago was a historic number, eleven thousand people that came over. Okay. Uh, and then on Monday that number increased. Today is Thursday, and that number increased. We're only going in the wrong direction. This is a week. What happens two weeks from now? Uh, it, it, it's the wrong way. Okay. So basically, we're seeing unprecedented all-time highs yes. um, and increasing and spreading. Yeah. Yeah. It's not in just one area. It's it's not just like it's just one city or one yes. town, and not even one state anymore. You know, it's not, we're talking about New York today, but Chicago, you're hearing it there. L.A., Denver. There's all these other places where it's just spreading, just continues to get uh, okay. bubbling up. And, and just to quantify it, uh, I think you said. 2,000 a day or something, just just in this location. Just here, yeah, just here. So that's like over 700,000 a year. Just yeah. in this one location, yeah. Okay, uh, just uh, 700,000 uh, sort of legal immigrants a year, just in this one location. Just in this one location. Okay. Uh, El Paso, right now in El Paso. Just, that, yeah, that, like, that's that's higher than the population of Wyoming, uh, exactly, FYI. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, and that's just one location. What is the what is the total number from all locations roughly? In the year. millions. I mean, it's it's so literally millions, 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 and those are just the folks that we know have engaged. What okay, about so all the others? So that's, that's just who was actually processed. Yes, the gotaways so, are the so, ones. So, that, you know. Yeah. So meaning that like the the actual number is much higher. Much higher. Okay, that's very important for people people to know. Yeah. Uh, that the actual number is much higher. Is it is it is it, is official number something like two million or something? Where, where, where is it? It varies, and it depends on who you ask. But okay. I've seen it as high as two point six million. Uh, and that number just every year for the past three years has almost doubled. You know, it was like 1.1. .1, it's and doubling it's just year after doubling year. Doubling year after year. It's compounding uh, year after year because because it's it's not just one part of the world either. It's all parts of the world that are coming in El Paso. Yeah, I, th I think that's actually an important point to make because, um, you know, sometimes people think, well, people just come from Mexico, but this is not the no, case. No, not the um, case at all. The, 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 the reality is that um, it, this is an open border for all of Earth. All of Earth. Um, and just, you know, so there's... Roughly 350 million people in the U.S., but there's 8 billion people on Earth. Yes. This is an open border to 8 billion people. Yes. Exactly. And, yeah. and and so, in fact, I, I believe a, a, it's a small minority, or it's a minority, it's, it's, it's a small percentage that are actually coming from Mexico. Yeah. That are, that are Mexican. That's true. Yes. Okay. And, uh, Sheriff Zertuche, how yes, many, sir. How many? I mean, you, this is a, how, how close are you to the border? 60 um, miles? 68 miles from 68 the border. 68 miles from the border. That's right. What type of nationalities are coming through your county? We're seeing anywhere from Honduras, El Salvador, uh, I believe um, Ecuador, and stuff like that. Even uh, some it's pretty much every country, well. right? Pretty much every country. Yeah. Um, it's very rare that we see anybody just from Mexico. Right. So, oh, it's actually rare to see anyone right. from Mexico. And then I'm 68 miles from the border. I'm 80 miles south of here from okay. Eagle Pass. How big is your workforce? How big is the sheriff's office? My patrol staff's only 16 strong. 16 total. Okay. So how many do you have on on call at one time? Maybe two at the most. Two two law enforcement officers to tackle. I mean, some of these counties that, that I represent, they're size yeah. of states, and sure. they've got two or three people trying to tackle it all. This is where the local community just feel completely overwhelmed because border patrol agents used to be the, the front line, and now they're here. They're under the bridge. They're processing folks, so they're completely out of the game. So these law enforcement, the local law enforcement officers, are carrying all the weight. Okay. My county alone is 1,500 square miles. And, right, so it's not, that's not possible, really. It's very um, difficult to handle. Yeah, okay. Um, and and so, uh, and, and just, it's worth going over a bunch of things that you mentioned to me, which yes. is like, um, the, it, there's, there's almost no repatriation. Right. This is another thing that was, I found surprising. Um, so, um, basically, once, somebody gets in that they're they're they're, they're in yes. that there's essentially no re it there's in theory repatriation in theory flying back yes. um and i believe you talked to the the president of guatemala and mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and asked him if it would, would, they, would, they, would they take people back and he said of course yes i said uh, i'll take every single one of them yeah no problem so, no problem all you got to do is 
ask us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Us, you just call. The white house just needs to call. Exactly. Okay. And every white... And Seems every, like that's like a, not a difficult thing. Elon, but. every white house has done that. Okay. It, whether it was Trump, whether it was Obama, whether it was Clinton, whether it was Bush, every single White House has had a border issue, and every single one has hand, had to uh, handle it the same way okay. by essentially going, "We can't let everybody in because it's going to overwhelm us. We're going to, you're going to uh, abide by the laws, and if you don't qualify for asylum, we're going to send you back." And as soon as you start doing that, it alleviates the stress. This administration hasn't done that yet. Okay, so, um, and just so of the sort of two, roughly two, two and a half million um, processed illegals. And then there's, it's maybe as much as twice double that or something, I don't know. So, oh, got a ways, so, yeah. Call it like four, four-ish million, maybe five million total uh, processed and, and unprocessed. How many of the four or five million uh, legal immigrants are sent back to their countries every year? I'll give you an example. Here in, here in Del Rio, Del Rio sector is one of nine sectors, okay? Uh, we're getting over 20, about 2,500 people coming over illegally a day, and we are we are repatriating or sending zero back. Zero. Z zero. Zero. So Not zero, zero is a quite a small number. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, okay, let's just literally zero. So zero. basically, there's no repatriation. What is happening is there, this is insane. What is happening is at, at best they will send people to other parts of the border. That's okay. not back to where they the country of origin. That's the Laredo or El Paso. Okay. In worst case scenario and I want to bring in the mayor here, the worst case scenario is where they're at. You bubble to a point where there's nowhere else to send them. So what you end up doing is you release them into the street. Imagine what that does to your local community. Uh, yes, this sir. is the, the, the mayor right, of Eagle doing? Pass. Hi. Welcome Hi. to Eagle Pass. Rolando Salinas, mayor of the city of Eagle Pass. Hi. And it's been a rough... Oh, a uh, nice town. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, uh, just FYI, in case people are wondering whether Eagle Pass is like, like, you know, like, like a, a, a rundown town. It's actually really clean and nice, just FYI. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, we're a, a, a city of 28,000 people, and we've had 19,000... Sorry, just, uh, the, yeah, so maybe toward the camera, I suppose. Eagle Pass <laughs> is a city of 28,000 people. We've had over 19,000 people in the last about 10 days come in. So we don't have the resources. It's like, like, wait, the more people, more people are coming in by far, uh, you know, than it's been. I mean, it's exceeding the population of the town on a regular basis. Absolutely. We don't have the resources to yeah, control. Will you talk about the, the, the hospital? Absolutely. I think that's Absolutely. a piece Absolutely. that a lot of people are missing. Eagle Pass has one hospital. So you have thousands of people visiting this hospital. People are getting frustrated. They, the the safety is taking a toll. People can't get medical care. Our local constituents, because they're treating people that are coming in from other countries. It's just, yeah, there's only so many doctors. There's there's only only so many doctors. Only so much we could do. The thing is, they're coming in without consequence, and the word gets out back to the countries. Hey, come to the U.S. Come through Eagle Pass. Come one, come all kind of situation. And it's disappointing that that we don't have a, a reform where we can solve this issue. The other thing about this too, Elon, is this isn't. It should not be a partisan issue. I get it. The politics in it. Yeah, yeah, lucrative. exactly. There's a certainly a temptation to make it a partisan 100%. issue. Hundred percent. Yeah. But you know, th this is across the board. I don't care if you're a D or an R. If you vote, don't vote. Yeah. Urban America, rural America. Everybody's impacted the same way. When a, when the crisis hits your town, it's like a hurricane. Mm -hmm. When a current hurricane hits you, everybody gets washed out, sure. and it's no different. So this is, I think, there's an opportunity here if we can if we can message it in a manner. This is about solutions. Hey, I get the finger pointing. It's easy to say why we got here. It's like how do we just get out of here? And I think there are some real tangible solutions we can uh, get. Okay, so I, I guess like the first part of this video, and I'll take a minute to upload it once this time. Sure. Is just just to uh, frame the problem so yes. that the American people understand. The, the, the magnitude of the problem, how quickly it is growing, um, and that there is basically no solution currently being yeah. implemented. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. And and just to understand, like when you know you're telling me, like sometimes you know people coming through um, are you know they have gang tattoos and, oh, yeah. and they have the like the tear uh, you know uh, tattoo on the on the forehead. Like I'm not sure. Uh, maybe that everyone knows what that what it, what tattooing a tear on your on your head on, on your face means. I visited. I visited. <laughs> that good. It's not good. It's, it's, good. it's not good. <laughs> I visited. I just okay. nonstop. I visited the facility here in Eagle Pass on Monday, and there was uh, there was a guy that had face and neck tattoos, hand tattoos, and he had teardrops. Now, and a teardrop is is when you kill when somebody. you kill someone and then you wear it as like a as a badge of, as a badge of pride you're right. like actually happy that you've killed someone right and you want people to know it right and 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 when someone like that comes through and they say they're an asylum seeker what what do we do 
So, so I'm in there, and I, I asked, I asked the, the the border patrol chief. I mean, this is, we're, we're talking about a serial, basically a serial murderer. Because yeah, he has multiple a serial, serial, serial murderer and proud of it. Yes. 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 This is not somebody you want babysitting. No subtle. No, not at all. Okay. Uh, and so when I asked the, the border patrol chief, I go, "Hey, what's up with this guy?" Yeah. And he asked him in Spanish. He goes, "Hey, have you ever been arrested before?" He goes, "Oh, of course not." And he's like, "No, no, I've never been arrested." And so what the border patrol chief said, he goes, "We do not have records from people from Venezuela. Sure. So we can't track a, unless they were arrested in the United States. We really don't know who some of these actors are. Many people you'll see are fleeing poverty. I get that. Sure, sure, sure. But there are others that are fleeing, you know, incarceration." Yes, <laughs> we, we are basically, it seems like a place where you can go to get away from the law. Yes. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, uh, so, okay, well, I think with, with that, um, oh, and I, I see this, this sort of, a, you know, it's a, kind of a group over there that's, 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 that's coming in, so, um, it's, you know, um, so, you know, this sort of, uh, I don't know if you could really see it. I'll try to switch it around. Hmm. Well, I can't really switch around. So anyway, that's like, I don't know if you can sort of see that group, but that's a group there. Um, 